everyone, it's Claire Rogers from Itopia Coaching. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this week I want to talk about how to deal with and overcome fear. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because, as you all know, the world is facing a global crisis regarding the coronavirus, COVID-19. And I have noticed that what's happening, in addition to the virus, we're also seeing a lot of enhanced feelings of fear. I'm seeing it spread certainly in my own relationships with my friends and my family. I can hear the fear. I can see the fear. Every conversation I have with people seems to be regarding this virus. And so in my own opinion, I believe that fear has almost become a pandemic as well. It's like a virus that keeps multiplying and spreading. So that's why I want to talk about this. I also want to talk about it because I'm very well placed to talk about how to deal with and overcome fear because I used to be a professional worrier. I mean, honestly, if you looked in the dictionary back in the day and looked at professional worrier, a picture of me would be right next to it. I was very good about worrying about all sorts of things that I could not control. And I was very good at forecasting and time traveling in my mind, predicting all of these things that could or couldn't happen and trying to solve problems for things that most of the time never happened at all. I was a very fearful kid and I became a fearful adult. And so fear led my life until roughly around, I think it was 2013, I started having panic attacks, anxiety and depression because it all just, it came to a head. So how did I go from being a professional worrier to now a professional mindset and well-being coach? Well, let me tell you how, and I'm going to share with you the tips on how I changed my own life and how you can also change your own life by overcoming and dealing with fear. The first thing I would say when learning how to overcome and deal with fear is to recognize that you have the fear in the first place. Now, that may sound totally obvious to some of you. Some of you might have great awareness of the fact that you've got fear, and other people may not recognize the fear that's within them. Certainly in my case, back in 2013, when I had one of my very first panic attacks, I had zero awareness that I had spent a good part of 40 years of my life living a life with a fearful mindset. And it only dawned on me that something needed to change when I started having repeated panic attacks. And also from a conversation I had with my husband when he was trying to understand you know, where these panic attacks had come from, what had started them. He, didn't, he couldn't understand what had gone on. And I said to him, I just, don't you feel like something bad's gonna happen to you? And he said to me, what are you talking about? And I said, I just feel like every time I become successful or something good happens in my life, something bad's gonna happen. And he honestly could not understand where I was coming from. And it, that conversation was kind of pivotal for me because then I recognized, hey, actually, I have actually trained my mind to be fearful. And other people don't think like this, are not thinking like I was back in the day. So that led me on a quest to understand, well, where had my fear come from? And in order to do that, I spent some time alone figuring out what had created and cultivated that fear and how could I change that fear mindset into one of not having fear. So to gain awareness of your fears, what I would recommend is get a pen and paper, go by yourself, set some alone time and write down all of your fears. Don't judge yourself for what you've written down. You don't have to share your exercises with anyone. You don't have to tell anyone what you have written down, but write down everything that you're anxious and fearful about. And then once you have completed that exercise, ask yourself what you have written down. Is it true? Meaning, do you know for a fact that what you're fearing is going to happen? Do you know that it's absolutely true that you need to focus on this because it's genuinely going to happen? Or is it something that you're imagining is going to happen? So in my own case, when I did this exercise many years ago, what I learned is that a lot of my fears were actually projections from my past experiences. Basically, I was carrying the past with me forward and it was paralyzing me from living a really fearless and happy, fulfilling life because I was carrying all those fears forward. So do that exercise. Again, please don't judge yourself for anything you write down. It's okay to have fears, but what we're going to do is we're going to reframe it so that they're not fearful. So when you do this exercise, you're going to realize one of two things. You're going to realize that either one, yes, the fear that you've written down is legitimate because what you are fearing 
is really going to happen. Or you're going to realize that actually, no, what I've written down and what I'm fearful of is not going to happen to my knowledge because it's something that I'm predicting. I'm, I'm projecting my fears. I'm, I'm worrying about something that I have no idea if it's going to happen or not. So let's deal with the first one. So you've written down a fear that you know is legitimately going to happen. So how do you deal with this? How do you manage the fear? So the first off is to learn acceptance of what is. Now I know that sounds really glib. Who am I to say that you need to accept what is going to happen to you or has happened to you? I don't need to come off of a glib. And as I say, these videos are like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever this ends up being. I don't want you to think I'm minimizing whatever you may be going through because I'm not. But what I am saying is if you can get to the stage of acceptance, this is actually quite empowering because then this will lead you on to be able to create a game plan on how to move forward. And you'll get to a point eventually where you'll be able to find the positives and the opportunities out of difficult situations. So in my own case, I went through, as I say, 18 months of, of pure hell of anxiety, panic attacks, depression. It was truly a, my own nightmare. But in hindsight, I now look back and say it was one of the best things that ever happened to me because it forced me to do a 360 on my life and really turn my life upside down for the better, for the positive. But it took me a while to get there. So in your own case, try to look at the situation that you're in now. It's difficult. Accept that it's difficult. Allow yourself to feel the feelings that come up. But then try to get to the point where you write down, well, what could the opportunity be here? What could the positive be? I know that's a very evolved exercise to do, but try and work on that. Because you're, you're basically, you're trying to work on what you can and cannot control. And in this situation, you may not have been able to control what happened to you or is going to happen to you, but you can control your reaction. Now let's move on to the second set of fears, which is the ones that are not legitimate. They're not true. They're projections and imaginations of what you think may or may not happen. Hey, no judgment. As I say, I was a professional warrior and I was a very good in that category. I was very good at predicting all sorts of things that never happened. In those cases, then what you do to overcome those imagined fears is to work on your mindset and protect what you are putting into your mind and learning how to cultivate a positive mindset through setting yourself up for success. So let me explain how you do that. So how you set yourself up to have a success mindset and to mitigate and get rid of fear is by being very mindful and protective of what you allow into your mind. So for example, it is not conducive to a healthy mindset to turn the news on first thing in the morning. I would argue at all, but we have to stay informed of what's going on in the world. But first thing in the morning, imagine you wake up, you make your coffee, your tea, whatever it may be, and then you turn on the news. And the first thing the news journalist says is good morning, but then they give you a laundry list of how life sucks, the world sucks, all these bad things are happening, and they never tell you a good story. They never tell you anything positive. It's always bad. So imagine you do that first thing in the morning. What does that do? Well, it immediately puts your mind into a negative headspace. So what I would encourage you to do is be very mindful of what you allow in your mind. I personally don't watch the news at all in the morning or in the afternoon and I put it on for maybe 15 minutes at night time, get the quick headlines and then that's it, I'm out. Be very careful of what you put in because it will impact you. Negative TV shows, violence, killing, maim, all that kind of stuff, not conducive to a healthy, fearless mindset. So think about that. What are you consuming? What are you watching? I would argue as well that social media, a lot of it is not conducive to a healthy, fearless mindset, particularly in this, in this time. Have you noticed on Facebook and Instagram and all the social media, everybody is an expert these days on coronavirus and COVID-19? I know this doctor and this doctor said this, yada, yada, yada. 
I'm out. I've never used the unfollow button so many times on social media because I'm not interested because I know that if I look at this, this can impact my mindset and can send me down the rabbit hole of fear. So be mindful of what you are allowing into your mind. And I'd argue as well is be mindful of the people you spend time with. So set yourself up for success by not spending time with the energy vampires. There's a lot of energy vampires that I find are coming out of the woodworks these days. You know, they're talking about the COVID-19 numbers and did you know this? And did you see what's happening in this country and that country? It could be that they're just projecting their own fears and that's why they're talking about it. And it could also be that they love the drama and they'd love to spread it. Personally, I'm staying well clear of the energy of empires because again, it does not help me cultivate a fearless mindset. So those are my, my tips. Keep the energy of empires out of your life, minimize the time with them or get off the phone with them, whatever you need to do to protect your mindset. Be careful of how you are polluting your mind. Are you polluting your mind with the news, with social media, with negative TV shows, killer, main, violent TV shows or movies and so forth? This all plays on your fears. Now you might say to yourself, but that's what everybody does. Everybody looks at the news and watches these TV shows and it's entertainment. Well, if you legitimately want to get rid of your fears, you're going to need to not be part of the norm. You're going to need to find another way to be entertained. Myself, I watch documentaries, I listen to podcasts, I read books, and it's all in the personal development, empowerment, inspiring stories, whatever it may be, it's all in that genre. Because I don't want to be a part of the norm that is following the fears. I want to be a part that has a fearless mindset, that has got a balanced perspective. I want to protect what I'm put, putting in my mind. So the subject of overcoming and dealing with fear is very comprehensive and I could talk about this for weeks and months on end. I'm going to close out the video now. I've just given you a very high level overview. I will do another video next week with some more tips and ideas. But I want to leave the video by reminding you that to deal with fears, the best thing that you can do to help yourself is to one, accept that you've got the fears, don't judge yourself, do the exercise to analyze if the fears are legitimate or if they're imagined, and three, be very mindful of what you put in your mind. Are you enhancing your mindset or are you polluting your mindset? Now, this does take time. This is not gonna just go to bed and figure this out and it's all perfect tomorrow. You literally have to train your mind every day to think and behave differently. And that's how I have completely changed my mindset. Every day, I have an awareness as to what I'm putting in my mind. Is it serving me or is it not serving me? Is it helping me or is it not helping me? I'm constantly asking myself that question. And so I've become very protective of what goes in my mind. So I encourage you to start that same exercise, but don't beat yourself up that you can't figure it out instantly. It will take time, but you can do it. I know you can. Tune back in next week for my next video. If you want some more personalized tips, then send me an email, claire.rogers at itopiacoaching.com. I'll put the details below. Or if you'd like to get my weekly newsletter, on some exercises that you can complete at home, some more information, then please sign up. You can go to my website, itopiacoaching.com. Again, it's at the bottom of this video. I'll put those details and also subscribe so you know when my new videos are coming out each week. Thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it and check back in next week. Take care.